welcome back to my channel. Today we have two guests with us, Jen McAllister and Finn McAllister. Yeah! yeah. Also, a quick disclaimer before we begin. I've been getting a lot of comments, or complaints rather, that the series is disturbing. I don't know what to say. Y'all are fucked up, not me. Okay, so let's do this. I gave my therapist a and I think my sister saw. What? Why? I, I, well, I... <laughs> when I was like 5 to 13, I would be chilling outside and I would need to poop and I would be too lazy to come inside. So I would go behind this little shed we have and I would take a shit there instead of coming inside and wiping. I went out there today. There is still some poops. Oh my god. That's not autumn. That is literally the least autumn thing I heard That's all day. Not autumn at all. <laughs> my mom compares me to everyone and I get mad so I have dreams about killing her. I mean, I get it, but don't kill your mom. I gave my titty a hickey and blamed it on my brother, saying that he gave it to me in my sleep. I feel like that one lie would create a very strange family dynamic from there moving forward. And if it's on your titty, then you probably could have just hit it without causing this whole scene in the first place. If it's on your titty. If it's on your titty. One time I found my brother's pocket in his room when he wasn't there. Then I left a note on it because I was drunk and horny late at night saying it's my name. Come into my room, daddy. And he came into my room and I lost my virginity to him. My parents don't even know, but we fuck all the time when they are still at work. Honestly, I don't know how to stop fucking my brother. I don't even know what to say, but like so many of the secrets I read are about siblings fucking that I'm just like, okay, I'm, I guess I'm the odd one out, honestly, because y'all are fucking your sisters and yeah, your brothers. You are my brother all the time. What? Okay, so I have no idea if this was a dream or not, TBH. I kind of hope it was. But when I was like around 12, I think I saw my mom shave my dad's little d hairs. He's half blind too. Oh, she's helping him out. Right, and that's definitely not a dream. If your dad's half blind and you saw that, it wasn't oh, yeah. a dream. I killed my uncle. Doubt it. Nice. When I was younger, I got my iPod taken off me because I was being a naughty shit. Anyway, my parents put it on the top of the fridge, so one day before school, I took it off the fridge and took it to school. On my way to school, I dropped it on its screen and it cracked and I panicked because it never had a crack in it. So you know what I did? I kept smashing it on the ground till it no longer turned on because I didn't want my parents to find out I took it without permission. After it smashed to pieces, I threw it in a public bin and and to this day, my parents still think they lost it somewhere and feel guilty that they lost it because I purchased it with my own money. Honestly, that's awesome. Awesome. Wait a minute. Awesome. My brother sometimes acts like a psycho, so we made an agreement that if he ever kills someone, I'll help him get rid of the body. Every time I touch my nipples and like stimulate them, I always think about how worthless my life is and I get so sad. Like if I'm in a good mood after I touch my nipples, I'm so sad. Like it makes me think about the world. Mood. Are you trolling me? What the fuck? I gotta go. Jen's leaving. To therapy. After this video. <laughs> but you know who's staying with us? I'm a dog and I don't have secrets because I kinda don't even have a brain. Okay, bye. I put honey on hash browns. That sounds fucking good. Once I forgot my family's bird in the fridge while my parents was out. I had no idea. I basically thought it flew out the window. When they came home, I told them that I lost the bird. Guess who found a dead bird in the fridge later that night? How do you forget a bird? in a refrigerator. I mean, how do you even like get a bird into a refrigerator? When I was in fifth grade, there was this girl that I hated. So I would go up to all her friends and tell them that she wanted to kill them. She then had no friends. I'm salty. I always keep my baby teeth when it comes out. And once I was about 10, I was very depressed and ate one of my tooth. I don't know, but it tasted good somehow. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, what is, like... That does not compute. There's no correlation. I don't get it. 
Once my brother and I were playing outside in my backyard with the ball and I got mad at him so I threw the ball and it flew into a tree, into a bird's nest and it injured the bird and killed one of the babies. I immediately ran inside and started crying. I felt bad. At least you felt bad. Like here's a comment that should make you feel better about yourself. One time I put hot sauce in my little fish tank and watched them slowly burn to death. So when I'm at school and working on my laptop, I put my headphones on, but sometimes I don't have the music. <coughs> Jesus. So when I'm at school and working on my laptop, I put my headphones on, but sometimes I don't have the music on because I'm just listening to people's conversations. That's a pro tip, if I've ever heard a pro tip. Personally, I love people watching and eavesdropping, so thanks for the advice. My worst secret is, when I was in elementary school, we would have a little donation program for St. Jude's Hospital. We would fill out a booklet of math problems, and then we would go around the neighborhood and sell booklets of coupons. I sold a couple hundred dollars worth of coupons and forgot to turn in the money. I hid the money in between some books on my bookshelf and never told my mom. She had me clean my room and I went back to the money and didn't know what to do with it and I was scared so I threw it all away. Never told anyone. Uh, the biggest mistake you made was throwing away $200, a couple hundred dollars. Like you could have donated it later, you could have given it to a homeless person, you could have bought yourself an iPod. That's the part that I would have, I would be regretful of, is throwing it away. Who throws away a couple hundred dollars? Sorry, I'm just making it worse. You're like, I already feel bad enough. I leaked my own nudes and blamed it on my boyfriend. I needed an excuse to break up with him and I looked great in those pics anyways, so who cares? <laughs> You may be pretty on the outside, but that's what you sound like on the inside. When I talk to new people, I lie a lot, like about everything. That's just kind of sad. I enjoy biting, literally biting, not nibbling, at the back of my hand after swimming because the chlorine tastes nice when mixed with skin. It helps me write essays and calm down my nerves. You're gonna need a lot more help writing essays with that grammar. <laughs> My, my Instagram password is trees3. When I look out the window, I pretend I'm in a music video or movie and I have this dramatic look on my face. I used to do that when I was younger and I was in a car. Like I would stick my hand out the window and be like, when life just isn't enough. I get it. In middle school, my friend got into her first relationship. I only had like two friends, lol. And I was jealous because she started hanging out with her boyfriend more than me. So me and my other friend made an Instagram to act like her boyfriend was cheating on both of them. This actually ended up breaking them up and I don't even feel bad about it. That is why you should be paying attention in school instead of making fake Instagram accounts. Cause you can't even spell the word breaking. Breaking. Uh, breaking? Breaking. You got it? <laughs> I can't breathe. One time I farted in the library when I was in kindergarten. I blamed it on Liberian. racist. I've always wanted to eat human lungs. I'm 12. Good, good, good. <laughs> when I was 12, I had to borrow my dad's phone for something, but then I got curious and started snooping, and I found a video of my mom giving him a I wanted to look away as soon as I realized what it was, but I couldn't. I watched the whole thing. I made out with my teacher on senior graduation day. Honestly, that's hot. I used to drink water out of my dog's bowl because I thought my dog was the coolest. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of endearing. I stole candy when I was 11 in a grocery store and the manager brought me to her office and asked to call my parents and I said she couldn't because my mom was fighting in Afghanistan. I feel bad. Wait, never mind. Honestly, if I was in that situation, that's some shit that I would pull as well. I'd be like, my mom's dead. I made a sexual Instagram 
Instagram account on my brother's phone under his name and DM'd people and talked sexual with them. That's just gross because it obviously means that you have some sort of sexual fascination with your brother, which I guess is normal, apparently. Once in kindergarten, I swallowed like a round magnet and I never told anyone. No wonder I'm so attracted to you. That's a good pickup line that you should use on people. It's like a fun fact and then you reel them in. You're welcome. My secret is that I laughed when my friend's cat died because I thought she copied me. As I got one before she did. Um, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a little strap. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe, and turn my post notifications on because I upload videos every week, every Thursday. I will also link down below the form where you guys can anonymously share your secrets with me and all my social media accounts so you can follow me because I know you really want to. And that's it. I'm gonna go now. Finn, do you wanna say bye with me? Bye! Bye.